Welcome, welcome. Today we've got kind of a kitcheny craft we want to do. Um, can y'all see this? Let's we'll see if y'all can guess what it is. Because we're going to mold this for our Easter table. And um, it's kind of a little surprise. I'm going to show you how to do it if you just hang with me. Um, this is not candy. It is not soap because you don't put soap on the table to eat. Um, it's butter. You know, they used to have the nice molds way back years ago when they would churn their own butter and they would put it in a, a butter mold and make it real pretty on top. So this is just a little, just basically the same thing. Um, I've worked on this a couple, three times till I finally got it to where it would mold and come out real pretty. Um, so we're going to do that. So let me gather up a few little supplies and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. I've got this few supplies gathered up. Got our molds. There's some little flowers and they're thin. Can y'all see how thin that mold is? They will be very thin pats of butter. And I've got these little Easter eggs and you can see they're going to be about medium. And then I've got these big ones, bunnies and eggs. Can y'all see that? These will make great big pats of butter. Okay, and they'll just they'll all be on your tray and you, they can choose whatever size butter they want. First of all, I've got one pound of unsalted butter. Okay, and I'm gonna unwrap this. And when I didn't get my knife, I'll have to step over and get me a sharp knife. Hold on just one second. Okay, and I got me a knife here, and this is a pound, and I'm going to take about half of it, just like this, and pop it into that bowl. And this is my mixing bowl here, just dropped it in, it's got little bunnies, isn't that cute? And I'm going to put this in the microwave, and I want it softened, maybe a little bit melted, but not much, okay? So let me stick this in the microwave about 30 seconds or so, and I'll be right Okay, got my butter. See, part of it's melted, part of it is still whole. And since this is unsalted butter, and I want to make salted butter, you take an eighth of a teaspoon of salt per pound of butter. And I've got a fourth of a teaspoon, so I'm just going to take about half of that. I'll drop that right in there, because it doesn't take a whole lot of salt, but it does take a little bit. Now, I'm just going to take this small little whisk here that I got the other day, and I'm going to start whisking that. Then I'm going to start dropping this butter in it, just like this. Just like this, because you want this butter to will help kind of solidify this other butter that's in here. Because you want it to be kind of pourable with a spoon. You don't want it to be real stiff. So... And this will all just kind of melt. You just have to stir and stir and stir. Just kind of whip it up. I kind of tried to get that in thin slices. but This may take a few minutes. So I'm going to, I'll do this. And then I'll come right back and show you all how this, how it looks as it comes together. Okay, but this will just kind of melt. You can kind of see, see how it's turning maybe a paler color, pale yellow. You just want to kind of mix it around in there, just like this. And that warmer butter kind of melts the other butter. And it'll all just come together. Okay, I'll do this. This may take me four or five minutes. So I'll be back here in just a minute with you all. Okay, okay we'll bring y'all back on here. It's not quite ready. It's still got just a few little lumps in it. Can y'all see that? So I'm just going to keep whisking this for just a minute. And then all those lumps will go away. Can y'all see how creamy that is? It's kind of like a cake icing. You're just kind of whipping some air into it as you as it comes together. What was melted and what was the unmelted. And I told you all an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. That's what I usually do. You may want a little more salt. Or this is when you can make cinnamon sugar butter. I do a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of brown sugar to it. Or some honey to make honey butter. Or just, you know, see how that all those lumps now are disappearing. Can y'all see how smooth that is now? It's getting real smooth. Okay, let me grab us a spoon. We're almost ready. 
Okay, yeah, that looks good now. Let me grab us a spoon. Now this is the hard part, y'all. I'm just teasing. This is all you do right here. You need these rubber silicone molds for this so that your butter will come out pretty. I'll just fill them up just like this. And yes, there's going to be some on the top. You can see that. I'll show you what I'm going to do with that here in just a minute. But you can do this for any kind of holiday, any of these little molds that you can find. If you're having a birthday celebration, I'm sure you could find little packages. You can find flowers. A wedding, if you're going to serve bread and butter, you could do um, maybe find some little doves or maybe some flowers or, you know, just about anything. This is super easy. These are just those little silicone candy molds. Now look, I'm going to take the back of this spoon and pull all that forward. Just like this. So, just like this. You want to make sure that it's all down in there good. So. You don't have to do each one individually. I'm also going to take a knife across the back of it here in just a second to get all the extra. But you want to make sure that it's all in there good. Hmm. My boy's sitting over here in the window. Looking out the window. This beautiful spring, almost spring day. It's not quite spring yet. Almost. Wow. I'm going to cook dinner here in just a minute. I'll cook dinner here in just a minute. Just a few minutes. Okay, now I got me a table knife. I'm going to scrape all the way across that just like that. And pull that out and put it back in my bowl. Uh -oh. And I'm also going to kind of drop it just like this to make sure. See, there's an air bubble popped up in that one. Uh -oh. Shh, don't be loud. you got to be quiet. So, there's that one. Now, we're going to take it. We're going to pop it right here in this freezer for about 30 minutes. I'm going to fill these up. I'll do those the same way. We're going to put this in the freezer for about 30, 45 minutes, an hour. You can leave it till you're ready to use it. But I thought I'd go ahead and mold all of mine and have them in the freezer mm -hmm. in a baggie for Easter. So. I'm doing this ahead of time, about three or four weeks ahead of time, actually. But that just gets me one step closer to my pretty Easter table. So we'll be back when it's time to unmold them. Okay, I want to show you all this big one. It's a not as heavy a mold. It's a little cheaper. And it's been a little more difficult to work with. Of course, I did it the other day. Um... But I want to show y'all how I do it. You, it's so flimsy that how I pick them up and drop them down to get the air out of them. I couldn't do that because it's flimsy. It has to stay on this. So I just put it on this little pan here. And I'm just picking it up an inch or so and dropping it. Can you see that? And then that will settle all that and it'll be, you can kind of jiggle it a little bit and it kind of all comes together that way. See, just like that. And I'll pop this up in the freezer now. And like I said, when they get frozen, probably 30, 40 minutes, maybe even an hour, I'm not sure how long I'll leave them. You can leave them as much as overnight or until you're, if you don't, if you just need one or two molds and that's all you're doing and you want to just put them in there and leave them till you're ready to unmold them on Easter or whatever holiday you're using them for, that's perfectly fine. Um, I've actually even got some little Christmas molds up there that are in the freezer. Um, but my mama had, ton she loved to make candy, loved to make candy. So she had tons of these molds and I'm not so much into the candy making. And I thought, you know what? These would be cute just to put, make our butter and make a pretty little tray of butter to put on the table for Easter. So that's what I'm doing with these. And I'll be back, like I said, and show you how to unmold them in just a little bit. Okay, we're back and I've got our 
butters out of the freezer. See, they're not, they're frozen good. So let's see what we can do here. Just got me a flour sack towel laid down here. And you just push those out right like that. Just turn them inside out. They just pop right out of there. Aren't these cute? Isn't that precious? Look how adorable these little eggs are. And they're just the right amount of this size. I think it's just the right amount of butter for a dinner roll or... You know, it's just a little pat of butter. And we've molded us some cute little butters here. Pop the rest of these out real quick and then we'll get our big bunnies and our little flowers. But see, they're frozen and they just pop right out of there. Just like that. These have some little polka dots. Can you all see that? And uh, this one's got little stripes. Mm, see, this one looks like an Easter egg. It's got some little squiggles and some little circles on it. Um, several, there's some that have, these have like little flowers. They're just so cute. So I will definitely, I have Easter at my house and Christmas, one of the Christmases. And so we'll definitely be doing these again for Christmas. Okay, here are our big bunnies. See, big bunnies and big eggs. Let's see how they do. Let's flip them right side, wrong side out. There you go. Look, isn't that cute? Can you see that? Isn't that precious? These are just adorable. So we've got big eggs. You might take a big egg if you're going to eat two or three rolls and then just put it on your bread plate. And Here's our little bunny. Isn't he precious? They're just so cute. Well, he's got a little air in his ear, but he's still cute. Like I said, this is he's super easy to do, you all, and it just really will add to a to a a holiday table. Or, like I said, if you've got a birthday, you can do some little birthday things, or you know, just just whatever. All right, now here's our little bitty flowers, and see they're real thin. See how thin that mold is? I'll show you how thin these little flowers are. See how thin that is? My hands getting buttery now. I touched all these butter. See that's a cute little flower. So that's how you all mold your butter. If you want pretty butter on your table, that's how you do it. And like I said, you have to have these silicone molds because you see how I had to turn them completely inside out to get the stuff out of them. So... There we go. And just like that, we've got plenty of butter molded for Easter. So like I said, I'm going to pop it back in the freezer on a sheet pan, let it freeze really, really hard, and then I'll drop it down in a Ziploc baggie and stick it back in there. And hopefully it won't stick together and freeze. If it does, I'll just remelt it and remold it because hey, you can do that. So I'm going to leave you all on this video right here with our precious little Easter butters. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye for now.